Is it a garden or a yard? What are the differences between the two? Stick around to find out. Hey guys, it's Amanda. I'm an American living in the UK, so I post about my life and experience living here, as well as weekly reactions requested by all of you. Now, I did a little series on the difference between British and American houses, but I never really touched on the outside. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. But what do you think will be the most significant difference between the two? Let me know in the comments. Number one, the name. So one of the biggest differences is what we actually call it. So here in the UK, it's a garden. And in the US, in the US, nice. In the US, we call it a yard. Number two, animals. It's no secret that the wildlife varies in each country, and our very own backyard is no exception. In the US, what you'll see vary considerably, again, depending on what part of the country that you live in. Where I lived in Pennsylvania, you would see deer, possums, raccoons, squirrels, chipmunks, skunks, birds, loads of stuff. <laughs> Very cool. Now living in the south of England, I've seen birds and squirrels. But I have to admit, we actually started getting blue tits, which are the cutest little birds ever. Then, of course, we got magpies and they just seem to literally just scare them all away. But there you go. But I do love seeing the birds. But again, I do want to say, I know this heavily depends on what part of the UK you're in as well, because I know you can see loads of other different wildlife elsewhere. This is just, again, my experiences. Number three, fences. I know movies depict all American houses having lovely white picket fences, but in reality, that isn't the case. A lot of yards are completely open, which is the opposite of many gardens I've seen here, which have fencing all around them. But to be honest, I actually prefer having the closed in space, not only for privacy, but it also feels safer, like especially if you have small kids, it's like their own little space. But now saying it, I never really thought about it, but I suppose loads of houses here have fences around them because the homes are so close together. And if there wasn't anything like dividing them, it would be like having a massive communal garden, which most people wouldn't want. <laughs> Number four, size. Now, I know this won't come as a surprise, but yards in the U.S. are generally bigger than that of the U.K. The average in the U.S. is around like 3,300 square meters, and it's about 200 square meters here, which is a huge difference. And yes, I'm fully aware this comes down to the space available, but it's still a difference all the same. However, I will say, with all those massive yards comes hours of upkeep with mowing and trimming. So there are definitely downsides to having all of that space. Trust me, I know. It was one of my chores growing up, and I spent hours mowing the lawn. However, I did get a really good tan while I was doing it, so there's that. Number five, mowers. Now, this one really comes down to the size of the garden, but many Americans have riding lawnmowers. As, like I said earlier, it would take hours to use a push mower. But one thing I've never seen before moving here was push mowers that plug in or battery powered. What? Never seen that in my life. I've only ever had ones that were powered by like petrol. Now, while we're talking about mowers, I have to know, what do you call the machine that like trims the edges of the grass and like cuts the weeds? I know some British people call it a strimmer or a trimmer. Pretty sure it's a strimmer. But I've, but I've always called it a weed whacker. <laughs> I just, I don't know. That's what I've always called it. And I think it sounds way cooler. But what do you think? Who says it best? Best? Well done! <laughs> Who says it best? Is it a weed whacker or a strimmer? Number six, sprinklers. They're much more common in the U.S. than here, but that's because we get so much rain here in the U.K. compared to a lot of the states in America. The rain used to drive me absolutely crazy. Well, to be fair, it still does. But I've come to appreciate it because everything is so green. The flowers are beautiful. They fill up the gardens, the parks, alongside the road. It just makes everything beautiful. So 
I do enjoy the rain now. More than I did before. If you've been watching my other videos, you'll know that I just moved house a few months ago. And one of my favorite parts is the garden. We've planted so many gorgeous plants and flowers. It's just so cozy. So I've been spending loads of time out there, especially with all this amazing, hot, lovely weather that we've been having. Because let's face it, it doesn't last long. I can't think of any other differences at the minute. But if you have any that you would like to add, please put them in the comments. And as always, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, smash that like button if that's what you're into, and I'll see you in the next video.